Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 second gaming and in today's video we are going to be doing a VOD review about how you can play bad spots and make it work. Now this is a video from a couple seasons ago, but with Newcastle being extremely popular in the meta and Olympus being back, I felt like it's time to bring it out of the vault, do a VOD review to show you guys how you can play some of these spots and help you guys in your end games to really excel and start to climb. But before we actually hop into this, if you guys at any point in this video find this useful, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help my channel out because the more people that do that, the more that YouTube pushes us into the algorithm so that I get more views and it just helps my channel out a ton. So if you guys find this video useful, please do that and I thank you. But now we can actually jump into what this video is all about. And with this, we are playing Newcastle on Olympus and we do have an actually decent team comp now, in this situation, I am duo queue with my Bangalore, so it's not as bad as other seasons where you might be really stuck in a solo queue situation or you might be in like a weird team comp, but with this situation, it's not that bad. Now, in this particular spot, we are playing just outside Bonsai and the zone is pulling in to Solar just outside Icarus right here, so it is going down the hill towards this area. And we were holding a really solid spot just outside Bonsai on top of that little wall there. Because with Newcastle, you can hold it a lot more effectively, especially with the charged up wall now. It is such a strong perk. And when you take it, it just allows Newcastle to really bunker down some really bad spots normally. But now with this, we are able to play this wall until it did have to move. And now while the zone is moving... It does look like we are in a pretty bad spot here because there is a team playing up top here and there are teams inside solar. So what my team is starting to do here is play off of what we have at our disposal. And you can see here our Wraith is starting to portal and they are making their way down here. So what I'm trying to do is support them and try to look out for them. I have a Spitfire, I have a 2-4 to four on it, so I am able to provide some cover fire. I don't have a ton of ammo left as you can see here. So I'm not going to be able to do a ton if she does start to get shot at, but I am going to be able to do something if she does get shot at, which is very important. If you have a situation like this, you need to be thinking what you can do to help your team no matter what the situation is. Because if things start going south, you need to be thinking in your head, okay, my race starts to get shot at. What can I do to help? Do I take the portal? Do I shoot? What is plan A? What's plan B? And even what could plan C be? Because you have to start thinking about these things in your head. You have to start having those plans if you actually want to climb. Now, thankfully, my Wraith actually does get a pretty solid portal off here. And you can see there is a team that is going to be near her. But it's not the worst thing in the world because we are able to take this portal a little bit late. And we are going to be able to take this and support her without there being a ton of pressure on us. Now... While we do come through this portal, it's not the biggest threat in the world to be uh, going through that portal, but there is a team that is here, so we need to be aware of that. I see way too many people go through a Wraith portal and assume that it is safe. Never, ever, ever assume that a portal is safe. When you go through, you have to be expecting the worst. Even though I did go through that portal and I did see to people, I'm always expecting there to be kind of a worse situation around the corner because then I'm planning for it and I know that it is there. That is something that you need to get into your head as well. Especially, especially, especially if you are a solo queue player. You need to be expecting the worst because then you're planning for it. If you're expecting your teammates to do something or expecting your teammates to make the right play, you are going to get let down. And that's just something that happens a lot. Now, after I do kind of fight with this conduit a little bit, I do take a little bit more damage than I want to, but I am playing Newcastle, so I am able to use the shield, and I am able to still apply pressure, because I don't want to let this team get a foothold. If this conduit were to be able to set up on this box, play this box, her teammates, wherever they are, because one might be over here, one might be over here, who knows? I haven't really seen where the teammates are. If they're able to come back around and support the conduit and we've just let her play on this box then we don't really have a lot of solid options yes there is the option to play right around here there is the option to use my ultimate but i don't want to use those until i have to 
So what I do is use a much easier cooldown, which is my tactical, and I start to apply pressure with it. Even the tactical just moving forward is enough to scare some people. But on top of that, my, my uh, Wraith is also moving up as well. So she's trying to get angles on the right. I'm applying pressure up the middle. And my Bangalore, who is healing, as you can see here, she is getting some heals popped. She is also starting to move up as well. You can see her arrow is basically on top of mine. So even though there is a conduit on here, we are starting to apply a lot of different pressure, which is huge. You never want to let a team get a foothold or set up near you if you don't have to, especially in an endgame situation like this. So as we start to move up here, you can see the conduit does get shot in the back, which kind of does suck because we lose out on a kill. But it's not the worst thing in the world because now that team isn't around us. And now my team is in a little bit of a situation here because we don't really have a good spot to play. Look at where we are in terms of where other teams are. And remember, I did say that there was a team up here. I don't know if they're still up there as of right now, but you always want to assume that there is a team there. There's also a team up on this building. There's a team that was around the backside of this that are probably moving in here. There's this team that's right in front of us, which could be the same team that just wrapped this way, or it could be part of the team of the conduit that we just killed that's moving in. You don't know at this moment in time. So with this situation, all I need to do is just slam down my ultimate here, and now we have a spot to play. And also, because I did take the extra fortification on the walls, it is extremely hard to break a new castle ultimate. The walls just have so much health. So now we have a spot to play to just rain fire down on this team that is running in, but they don't have a spot to play. Like, they've got nothing to play there, and they just get wiped. Now, we don't have a ton of cover out here so the team that is above us does start to shoot us and does get a knock on us but we're playing bangalore we're playing newcastle we're playing wraith we have options so we just get the wraith up or sorry we get the bangalore up the wraith is able to get the knock out there we're getting pushed by these teams which isn't the worst thing in the world because the more teams that we get pushed by the more options start to open up to us because with these teams running at us and these teams trying to like take us out this means that there's not as many teams near us and a lot of people would be freaking out saying why are these teams pushing us why are they trying to throw into us what's going on well these teams also don't have a spot to play they don't have the best options so if there's a team up here and they want to fight us because they they saw that we're also on the edge of zone they just knocked one of us they're going to try and actually fight us but because we do have the newcastle wall and we do have the, the terrain to my right there's that little like rock thing we have options so even though this looks like a horrible spot to play, if you play it right, you can do some fantastic things with us. You just have to be able to use what you have to your advantage. Now, if you didn't have a new castle, you have to think about what you do have. Do you have a Gibraltar? Can you put a bubble down? Do you have a Bangalore? Can you put smokes down? Do you have an ash? Can you use the ash TP to potentially uh, teleport you to up here or teleport you over here or get you somewhere that isn't this spot? You have to always be thinking about what you have at your disposal and use that. Go off of that. Sorry, I hiccup there. But after we are able to kind of reset and restabilize here, another team does try to push us. But again, we just have such a decent spot to play here because of the Newcastle and because we are using everything to our advantage. So they actually can't push up on us. They can't do a lot. Fuse ults us. But we're just able to sit behind these rocks and we're able to just do what we need to do. We're able to reset. We're able to get these, uh, get more, more meds, get more ammunition, get more everything. And teams aren't able to really do anything to us because there's no options for them to really take us out. These teams are above us. There's teams on the buildings. But again, because those teams just kept throwing into us and kept trying to run at us, so many options then arose because we just played it safe. And this is what you guys really need to start thinking about in your games is learning how to play things safe and just letting other teams make mistakes. Way too many people try to be the hero and they try to make things work for themselves, but you don't have to. Let teams make the mistakes. Let everyone else throw themselves into bad situations that then you can capitalize off of. Because as soon as we saw those teams run into us, we knew that there's going to be options for us to take. We knew that there's going to be spots for us to take. There's only four teams alive, and we are one of those teams. Three teams can easily fit inside of these buildings. So there's going to be 
options for you. So this is just a, a, a basic look at how you can use teams and spots to your advantage to really get a solid spot in zone. And we actually ended up winning this game because we just took some solid spots and we used Newcastle to our advantage. So this is a very basic video and it is very to like to the point but it's just an example of how to play these bad spots so that you guys can use this in your own game so thank you guys for watching again if you found this video useful please hit the like and subscribe button thank you all for watching once again i'm eight second gaming i'll see you guys in the next one